the target for today. Gesundheit, in answer to your query about our target, I have it in my sight, Sneasley boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's Friday, and that means showtime. The camp theater is running South Sea Surf Stump. I don't intend to miss a fine flick like that. But how you gonna get in? Colonel Fusby is on to all your routines. Exceptin' for my new ski bit. <laughs> but you can't ski, Breezley. What's the ski? I just stand here and the skis do all the work. Okay, but I don't think it's a good idea. Don't be a pessimist. The Colonel should know by now he can't keep me from my Friday night movie. We've picked up a UFO on the radar, sir. That's no UFO. That's an FBB. Freeloading Breezley Bruin right on time. Call an alert. Uh-oh, I'm out of control. How do you stop these things? Oh, what's the password? Help! I wonder how he knew the password was help. We got him on the screen. He's coming in fast, sir. He's getting closer. Closer. I hope you know something about skiing, Colonel. Like stopping, maybe? You blithering brawn, get off these skis. Uh, yep. And stay out! If at first you don't succeed, try something sneakier. What's this weather balloon for, Beasley? It's the latest thing in space travel, Sneeze. I just inflate the balloon. And I float up over the camp gate. Not bad thinking, even for a brainy Bruin, eh? Very good, Breezley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a high-flying Bruin. <laughs> According to my flight plan, I should pass directly over the theater. Right on target. Here I go. Front row center. <laughs> Bring on the hula girls and soy sauce. <laughs> uh, pardon me, but would you mind removing your head? Uh, Breezley Bruin! Colonel Fubby. Corporal of the Guard! I'm leaving, sir, I'm leaving. Throw that Bruin out! Oh, well, I may have to wait till uh, that picture gets on TV. Like the rocket, Sneasley, I might still make it in time to see the news reel. As I pass over the picture show, the first stage separates, and I drop in on the movie. I've got to plan a strategy to keep that Bruin off my back. Hey, this isn't any picture show, and I'm sitting on a lumpy rug. Guards, arrest this! Bobby Bruin! But, but, I'm a civilian Bruin. You can't do this. My congressman will hear about it. Help! You've gone too far this time, Breezley. I'm turning you over to the Seattle Zoo. You'll get free chow, free medical care, a private room, personal service, everything. It's a freeloader's dream. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've been wasting my life away up here. When do I leave? Not any too soon for me. You leave immediately. So long, Breezley. Bye-bye, Colonel. So long, Sneasley Pat. Bye, Breezley. So long. I have only one regret. And what's that, Colonel? This is sure a dirty trick to play on a nice city like Seattle. There's the Seattle Zoo. This is where you get off, Breezley. Thanks, Pilot. I'm heading for the soft life. Breezley Bruin! Everyone else yells, Geronimo! <laughs> hey, looks like another draft D joining us. How about this? A welcoming Ming committee for little old me. <laughs> Pardon my shoot, gentlemen. Boy, they're drafting everyone these days. 
somehow I had a much different picture of a zoo. Say, Aramanura, uh, uh, is this the place with the free room, board, medical care, etc.? This is it, pal. Name? Herb Smith. Herb Smith. Next name? Breezley Bruin. Breezley Bruin. Step along. Hmm. He looks a bit shaggy. Well, give him a GI haircut and they all look alike. Inhale, please. I don't even smoke. Quiet. Hey, when is feeding time in this zoo? Knock off the wisecrack, soldier. Uniform size, 52. Next. Soldier? Uniform? I don't get it. Right face. This is my right face. It's the only one I got. Any preference as to where you'd like to be stationed? Anywhere that's cool. Good. I've got a real cool place. Camp Frostbite, Alaska. So long, men. I hope I'm in time for the Friday night movie. <coughs> uh, uh, would you uh, kindly remove your helmet, Private? <laughs> Brazely Bruin! Hello, Colonel. Glad to be aboard. I've just been drafted and stationed here. Oh, no. It can't happen to me. <laughs> you shouldn't watch these sad movies, Colonel. They always break you up. Oh.